Welcome in guys, Adam here, the Orlando drummer. Good to see you. So today's video, I have something a little bit different for you. The guys over at Aerodrums were kind enough to send me one of their units. This is an Aerodrum unit and this thing is so sick. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox this and show you guys what physically comes inside this box. Then we'll take a look at the software and some of the things that you have to do on your computer to sort of get this thing set up. I'm gonna set it up here in my living room and we will be playing drums by the end of this video. And then I'll give you guys some of my closing thoughts about this product. Let's get started. All right, here it is. This is our actual drumming unit. So inside of here is all the physical things that we're gonna need to make the Aero Drums unit work. So let's take a look at what we've got. Inside the box, first thing you'll notice we have these sunglasses. We'll come back to these and talk about them a little bit later. They look kind of like 3D glasses. Uh, uh, probably the most valuable piece in this entire uh, pack would be this card right here. This, on the back of it, I'm not gonna show you, but it has a product code which allows you to download the software. Um, and I quickly realized that a lot of the value of this unit comes with the software. It's really, really powerful software. Uh, and you're gonna need this uh, card here in order to download that on your computer. Uh, it also comes with an owner's manual, which I was incredibly impressed with. This thing is so thorough, it's unreal how much information they were able to put inside of this thing um, with graphic pictures and everything. So if you're a little intimidated by the technology, this will definitely um, help you understand how this unit works and how to set everything up. I thought that was a really important piece of this puzzle. So onto the physical stuff, we've got our pair of drumsticks here. These are probably 5A drumsticks. They feel pretty normal, nice and light. They might be maple, uh, but they feel really good. And on the end, you can see we have these silver balls here. So these are intended to be reflective. And obviously these things can break. Um, so that includes an extra set of two, which you can see right here. You could put them on a different set of sticks or you can put them on this if you were to break these off. And it also comes with some adhesive, which allows you to do that easily. Uh, so you can glue these on to a uh, different set of sticks if you needed to. After the sticks, we have our foot reflectors here. Uh, and these have these elastic bands so they can go on your foot pretty easily. Definitely fits on my shoes, no problem. And then the other weird little piece here is this. This is a light, uh, it's a USB light and they refer to this as the lamp. So what this does is actually creates a really, really bright light that's gonna reflect off of these balls here and the, um, and the actual foot reflectors. This piece, the lamp, goes directly onto one more piece that you will need to buy separately, and that is this Sony PlayStation uh, motion camera. These are really, really cheap. You can find them at Walmart or on Amazon, uh, but you will have to get this as well, um, and it is compatible with this unit. So now that you guys know what's inside the box, let's head over to the computer, get this thing set up, and see if we can't start drumming. So we're almost ready to go. Now, my original plan was to sit on the couch and have the camera sort of point from over here across. But the problem was there's a window behind the couch. And because this is a light-based um, you know, motion sensor, any light that's in the shot is gonna mess things up. So you wanna make sure you have a really dark background. So I sort of twisted things to have a lot of dark space behind me. Now that we're almost set up, uh, I'm gonna go to the computer and we'll pick a drum set to use. All right guys, so I wanted to show you what it looks like when you first open up the software. You need to make sure that you have both of your USB cameras plugged in, or rather the Sony camera and then the lamp or the light that goes along with it. So both of those are plugged in and we're gonna go ahead and open up Aerodrums. Now it's gonna take you through the initial um, sort of setup stuff, but this all this stuff is already listed inside of the, uh, the actual manual. So if you read the manual before you open this, you can skip all of this stuff really easy. We can get straight into it. Uh, the first thing you can do is take a look at the drum kits. There's several that are already built in here, but you can download different ones or even use your own samples, which is really cool. I have the big rock kit selected, so we'll just leave it on that. Uh, and then we're gonna go to setup. This is really cool because it gives you all of these um, you know, tips and pointers on how to make everything work correctly. Again, all that stuff is listed in the manual. But if you just skip through this stuff, this is really, really helpful. It brings up this superimposed image of this guy and you go sit in the chair to see if you actually line up with him. If you do, more than likely everything's gonna be fine. So let me go sit in my chair and see if I line up with this guy. And I think I'm pretty good, right? Feet are right, right around where his are and hands are there as well. So it looks like we are ready to play drums. Now all we have to do in order to start playing is hit done 
and it will take us directly to the drum kit. If you wanted, you can also do this from the home screen. You can just hit drum and it opens up your kit right away. So let's go play. So after messing around with this unit for several days, I can honestly say that this thing is way more fun than I thought it would be. Um, my initial impression is that this was just going to be a toy of some kind. But to be honest, I could see a lot of different applications for this, especially if you were in a situation where you wanted to record something, but you weren't in an environment where you could have a drum set and you weren't comfortable with just programming MIDI. Now, keep in mind, you can do all sorts of things with this unit that I didn't show you in this video, like using your own drum samples. You can record this into a DAW as MIDI files. Then you can go in and quantize those. So this is actually a really practical and useful tool. Um, now, with that said, I wouldn't recommend playing a full album using the Aerodrum unit. That's not really the intention of this. And there is an element of fun and novelty that sort of comes with this product. But with that said, I think I take this a little more seriously than I did before I actually got the unit. I also love that Aerodrums really took the time to explain how this unit works, not only in videos and in the software, but in the owner's manual itself. It is incredibly well written, and as an educator, I appreciate that, because this kind of technology can be intimidating to people who have never done anything like this before. So I really appreciated how much thought went into the owner's manual and the software, which makes this product really easy to use. Another thing I was incredibly impressed with was the dynamic range of this product. I was concerned that this was going to be a little bit more like a rock band sort of thing, where you just hit and then it makes one noise. But obviously that's not the case. I'm sure you guys heard, there's so much dynamic texture that you can actually hear when you're using this unit. And it's not just like ghost notes on the snare. You can also swell the cymbals. Um, you have all these dynamic options on all of your toms. But even cooler was the left foot and the hi-hat. I was blown away at how accurate that was, that I could have quick little short barks on the hi-hat or just slowly open and sizzle the hats. So the dynamic range was really, really cool. If you guys wanna learn more about the Aerodrums unit, you can head to aerodrums.com. And of course, I'll also link all of their social media in the description below. I can't say thank you enough to Aerodrums for sending me this unit. I had so much fun messing around with this thing. It's an absolute blast. And if you ever get a chance to toy around with one, please do, you won't regret it. Adam here, the Orlando Drummer, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.